Okay, this word language model has been thrown around a bit. I want to understand it better. Like, what is a language model? Jeremy can tell us everything because he was one of the guys that came up with this technology. So what I'm hearing is that you're to blame for all of this. I'm one piece of it, <laughs> right? I'm one little piece of it. Lots of people to blame. So explain a language model to me. It's actually a very simple thing. A language model is a mathematical function that has one very specific task, which is to predict the next word of a sentence. The idea I came up with was I literally downloaded Wikipedia <laughs> and I trained a model to predict the next word of every sentence. And I figured if it was going to get good at this, it would have to know an awful lot about the world, not just about language, but about common sense, about the nature of time, about the nature of animals and people, like and how they all relate to each other and that water makes things wet. And like, for, take that example, right? There might be a sentence somewhere in Wikipedia that says like, you know, in this famous movie scene, this actress got covered in water, so she was very... What? Cold. OK, cold, <laughs> maybe. Wet, maybe. But these are ideas that are common sense to you. But when you were born, you didn't know that, right? You figured that out through reading, through experience. Now, a language model can read everything. And in fact, the more recent language models built way beyond my idea. They didn't just read all of Wikipedia, they've actually read a very large chunk of the entire internet. And that turned into this thing called ChatGPT, which you might have played with. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's amazing, right? Yeah. You can literally type in a question, have a conversation, and it gives you an answer, but all it's doing behind the scenes is it's using this fine-tuned universal language model. OK, well, what is the potential of AI? Like, how far does it go? I don't know. You know, <laughs> I, I, I think about it all the time. No one knows what's going on and no one knows what's going to happen, but everybody I've spoken to agrees. Society's never going to be the same again. And it might come with a downside. What if language models were trained on misinformation? What kind of answers would I get then? But my mission is to test how human AI can be and to determine if it can be artistically creative. If there's anyone that might know the answer, it's these guys. These things are just so smart, unexpectedly smart, but they're smart enough to be able to use their brains or their minds to come up with a response that hasn't existed before. OK, so we are saying that artificial intelligence is creative. Absolutely. If you've tried it, I'm sorry you've seen it, right? Yeah, it it does like, come up with new ideas. But I don't know if they're new ideas or if it's just something it's found on the internet that it's spitting back at me yeah, more no, effectively it's, it's, than a search engine. It's definitely not just doing that. This is a common, common misunderstanding. There's actually a mathematical proof called the Universal Approximation Theorem that proves that this kind of computation can solve any given problem. Coming up with new ideas is, is well within the remit of its capabilities. And like, personally, I use it every day. It very often comes up with ideas in my field that I would totally know if somebody had come up with them before. Why don't we jump in and just give it a go? Can I make a suggestion? Absolutely. Chat GPT rap. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm down. Well, that was easy. The most widely used language model at the moment is called Chat GPT. And using it is as simple as logging onto the website. Let's ask it to write the rap song typing a question or prompt, and waiting for a response. Let's give it an AI focus. All right, let's see how this goes. I rep my hometown, with pride I stand tall. My roots run deep and my culture's my core. This local pride in my heart I'll defend. Authenticity's key till the very end. Yeah! <laughs> what you got for that, AI? <laughs> Come on, man. All right. This was your idea. You got, you got nothing right. GPT seems pretty decent at writing lyrics. I'll give it that. But how far can I push it? How do I get the most out of a language model? There's a concept called prompt crafting or prompt engineering, where the sentence that you give it will give a different result than if you use different words in that prompt. The way that you craft your prompt, the way that you tell the language model what to do, will dictate what comes out at the end. So prompt crafting is all about refining the question to be clear and specific. 
guiding the AI to generate the perfect response. It seems to be the key to unlocking the full potential of language models.